Do you have a big sister? I do have a big sister. That's one hit from you. I think that you have three other siblings or something. One sister and like maybe two brothers. Or just two guys that lived with you or something. Yeah, I, I was with two guys. And you have a sister. And then, um, it was like a two-story group home almost kind of thing. Is that true? Yeah. All right. Okay, and then y'all lived upstairs, and it was really dark, and, like, there was, like, no furniture, kind of. <laughs> like, the, no. like, the floor was, like, weird, like, um, like, it's flat. Like, it's, like, something that was underneath carpet, you know what I mean? Like, bluish kind of colored. I'm not sure. Y'all are kind of like troublemakers. <laughs> Is that true? Sort of. Like, spray painting things or uh, sneaking in spray paint or something? Something about spray paint? Nothing about that? No clue. Um, well, I was almost there. <laughs> and then... Your sister's taller than you and skinny, or what? She's about my size. Okay. Um, but she's taller than you? Oh, she's your size, like... She height. is taller than me. Oh, taller than you? Okay, well, I guess. Um... <laughs> did you live with your grandma? At one point in my life. At one point in your life? And, um... She kind of, you kind of look like her in a way, like your nose and stuff? Like the shape of it? Yep. You know? And, um... I don't know yet. Um, um, do you look like your sister? And her hair's up to here? I look like my sister, but her hair is long. Oh, it's longer? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, screw it. <laughs> I can't tell. It's okay. Um... It's um, neat that you picked up my sister, though. Maybe. <laughs> And, um, um, once, twice, three times, a lady. <laughs> is that a song you listen to or something? Mm -hmm. I do like that song. Like, did you recently listen to it, or is it just something that you found them one time? No, I, I actually recently listened to that song. It was on the radio. It was something I was listening to. Wow. I like cheesy old music like that. Hell yeah. I understand. I can feel it from you, I guess. I guess. Whatever that even means. Feeling something that you like. Yeah. Old style music. I like now. older style music. That's strange. That's just the stuff I'm picking up and I can hear that song. It just came from you. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so I was like recent, I guess. An echo from your spirit. And then it's like, um... Um, um, um I have anxiety. <laughs> I just have anxiety. <laughs> it just won't go away. It's annoying. And then, um... Trust, something about trust and uh, a red car or something. I don't know. Did you drive a somebody's truck? They trusted you or something? And you like? I've driven a truck before, and yeah, someone did trust me to drive it. And it wasn't. And you didn't do go good. <laughs> did you do good? Did you do bad something with it? Maybe. Like. You did bad with it. Yeah. Or was it? In, it wasn't a red truck though. It was, it was just a truck. truck. Uh, it was a truck and a car. A car. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it had a sunroof on it. Mm. Well, I don't know, but you just did not. You shouldn't have entrusted me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I'm saying. Valid. Um, <laughs> Valid. Okay. And, <laughs> And, um, you play, do you play that game, um, it's got, like, you know, those round checkered looking things that's, like, black and red and you connect four or something? You know that game? Mm-hmm. Is you, you play that a lot before? <laughs> I mean, something about that game. One time in my life I did. I don't know. Something about the time. Yeah. Something about that game. <laughs> and I have that game. <laughs> That's cool. Um, um, <laughs> um, you have an uncle, and is 
you look I'm like you? <laughs> yes, I have a few uncles that look like me. But red, red, red hair? Red hair or something? They're all white hair now, but they all have the same hair color I have now. Actually, a brunette. Yeah. The beautiful color, like, you know, Barbie's rare color. For Dur me. Dirty, dirty blonde. Yeah. Like, as you get older, it just it gets ashy ash brown. I want that. It's my favorite color. You know, platinum. <laughs> but it's... When I get older, that's the color it'll turn naturally. All my uncles, it's just white. Groovy. Okay, let's see. Um, um, did you come from, have you been to Colorado, Memphis, or Minnesota, or places like that? Or been there, or whatever? No clue. But I know why you're picking up on it. I don't know. I, I know, I won't tell you that. Do you wear glasses sometimes, and hats? I used to wear glasses. You used to wear glasses? And then... Uh, like red hats? <laughs> Maybe I'm getting all these colors wrong. No. Oh, red. I don't know. I think I'm not confident in that red color at all. I'm gonna think of red things. <laughs> um, okay. Um... Supporting your values. You're very supportive of someone's values or something. Is that, do you say stuff like that? Supporting people's values? Yeah. Always. Like the word value and everything? Yes. Like I like supporting people's values. Yes. <laughs> That's very important. I have a lot of my own values <laughs> that I follow. Groovy. And then other people's values are important to me too. Rock. Awesome. And then I. Uh, I'm just gonna, um, did you have a foot problem or something? Like, like calluses or something? Yes. Is that what your problem was before with your foot? <laughs> Actually, right through your sock. <laughs> I just, I just, no, no, I just have really flat feet. I used to have to wear orthotics. Okay, well, it's just something about your foot at first, and then I thought it was like calluses too. No, 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 but okay, it does okay. cause calluses if you don't wear your orthotics. Okay, well, it's just related. I'll get one at a time. No, it's, it's, no, it's great. It's, you hit it. <laughs> and then, did you ever do the Nordic track too? For some reason, the Nordic track. Yeah, you know what I mean. That machine. I have done that machine. Yes. Was it red? It had red bars on it. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing red. Nothing red, red is red. coming through. Red is your color tonight. I don't like red. It's so evil. It's la. It's the devil. <laughs> no, actually, pink, pink is the devil. <laughs> I hate the color pink. It's against my religion. <laughs> no one bought her all kinds of pink stuff today because she's a little girl. Right, and there you go. Yeah, I hot pink's cool, but I'm so, let's go to Tomorrow Legends too. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> I, I appreciate your values. The devil. <laughs> I appreciate your values. Right, okay, let's see. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not getting anywhere real cool. Let's see. Um, um um, you have issues with your back too or something? You have back problems, sometimes you have to wear a back brace or something? I have before, yes. You have to wear a back brace or something? Sorry, I'm picking up on the thing. Well, things need to be attended to. Like, if there's something wrong with you, then it's better to pick up on it, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want I've been, to I've attend spent, to all your problems. I've spent thousands of dollars at the chiropractor, trust me. Okay, and then, um... Hmm... Um, did you want to be a chiropractor or something? <laughs> or did you want to help him with his back one time? Mm -hmm. I have no clue. Or some guy that... Did, did you, you ever, like, pop somebody's back? Did, no, no, no. Did you have a guy, a chiropractor, that kind of looked like him in a way? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. That's what I'm just but saying. But he was old and bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was bald. But, yes. You know, he was old and he looked kind of like him up in the face and stuff. In his eyes. We need to find this guy so I can see what I look like. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. It's just a similar, uh, different, you know, yeah. co colored eyes, kind of, sort of nose, but completely different shaped body and, and bald head. That's what I was actually seeing. Don't tell me. I'll tell you. No, I'm just like, yeah. Because, like, that, that's just what I was thinking. I was like, was that him being your chiropractor? Because when you said that, I was like, that's what I saw. A guy that kind of looked like him in a way. Uh, isn't that weird? That's crazy. It would have been better if you just didn't say bald. I would be like, well, is his hair really short? Like, shaved bald? <laughs> I know, you know? No, it's, it's, 
So. It was kind of like he had a little bit of hair on his head, right? He did, yeah. He, he did, did, but it was balding. Yeah, his, it, yeah, it, over, you could tell over the years, it just, his forehead got bigger right. and bigger and bigger. Oh, poor thing. The well, struggle is real. It is. And then, um, that was just what I was saying. <laughs> and then, um, 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 uh, do you watch game shows or some bullshit? No. Is your mom? No. Oh, she didn't like TV? No, not at all. She didn't like TV? And she had big bottle cut glasses? My grandma did. My oh, grand did, what, but your grandma looked young, though, didn't she? And she was skinny and little? My mom was skinny and little. But did she not have glasses? And what, did she have, like, the 70s long brown hair? Very similar to yours. But it, this color? Yes. Exact same color. Okay. And same um, style, even. <laughs> oh, cool. And, um... Just, I guess I lost it. Um, mm, did you used to work at a church or something, or something about charity in church or something? Yeah, I used to do a lot of that shit with the Mormons. Charity at church? And you'd work there with them? Pretty much. Isn't that something to pick up on? <laughs> and, uh, I actually believe in it, too. <laughs> no, we've all been there, buddy. <laughs> right. <laughs> We want to be something. Mm -hmm. I don't have to believe in anything. <laughs> it's pointless. It's the like waste of time. It believing means you're not experienced. <laughs> but whatever. Well, you know, when you're young, mm -hmm. I want to. You gotta find somewhere you belong. Yeah, that's a good way to put that. And then, um, let's see. Um, you want to be true to what you think you came from an R and who you want to love and worship or bullshit that even if it's not required, you you want to do the right thing, you know? Just be the believer to be like, I want to be the right person, I want to do the right thing. That's good to be committed to anyways. No matter what cult you fell into. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they got me by saying that I was going to get married. Okay. Oh, cold dragon! Right, 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 right. Okay, let's see. Um, myself. Um, um, did you have a girlfriend with a kid or something? A few, yeah. And like a son. A kid and a daughter you have taken care of, or something like that? I'm not sure. I didn't take care of them, but I had a girl was engaged to some of the two kids. Was it a girl and a boy? Were you over there eating? Maybe at one point. I don't remember. There's been quite a few that. She doesn't have any food allergies or anything, does she? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, she was just over eating out of the dog bowl. Okay. As long She's as it's not a cat bowl. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's cool. There's dog food in there. Wait, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Go ahead, Miss Peggy. Get your bite, sweetheart. Um, and you would listen to heavy metal music? I love heavy metal. At, at somebody's place, and you had a, uh, a blue light or something there, and you were wearing glasses back then, and you had played video games or something. I don't know. But it's just the place you were staying, and you, you had your, your music was too loud or some bullshit. Which is so what, and people were complaining about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. And um, but you had your own room, and it was like blue walls or something, or blue light or something like that. Anything blue that could have been blue mattress. Okay, I don't know anything. <laughs> but it was like the bed was like um in the middle of the room, and like there's a door. Mm -hmm. And then right when you walk in, the, there's the bed right there, and then it's just one room, and that's it. And, um, the bed was like, um, it was it like, um, was it a twin-size bed or a full-size bed? It was like a small bed, because it's in the middle. It was and, a twin, like a long twin? Yeah, and then the sides were like, you know, you can walk on each side instead of it's not against no wall, it was just like in the middle. Is that where it was? I'm just wondering if that's right, that I'm saying. You're, you're like halfway there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. Ruin it. And then there was a chair in there too at the end of your bed. 
Yeah. And it was black and leathery or something. Or no, smooth no, or whatever. It was, it was like a smooth. Thing, but it was smooth. It was a smooth like black. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. How ridiculous. <laughs> Not ridiculous, you've done well. <laughs> yeah, like that. More than I could have ever picked up on. Like the charity in the church, I mean, that's rare to say. But then the part where you talk about my beliefs and being true to what I believe in, mm -hmm. that's one thing, like, I'll tell my dad, but I don't tell a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't talk about it. Yeah. Well, Fresh Air says the philosopher, but anything can fluctuate with that. And it, they're like the preacher. They're the ones that are the guru. They are the ones that are the higher learner expander. They're the ones that go on adventures and um, discover what's true instead of what's written, like a Gemini or something. But Geminis are very informative, but they're communitively, they're socially uh, observing what is that way. But that's with the thoughts. The thoughts can change, and yours is with the philosophy, and that can change. And they're like the preacher that the view of God, they rule the view of God, the ninth house, the the house of beliefs and stuff. And whatever. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Um. Well, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> then we went to a frozen yogurt shack. Two cancers. Out. Two cancers. Round one. <laughs> She seems pretty healthy, though. She seems to be getting around pretty good. You know what isn't a good combination, though? Some okay, color. she had long hair down to here, and it was like a uh, brownish red. The little niece that's four years old or whatever, and she had like hazelish different colors, bluish blue hair, like, yes. like all these colors in it. And um, she was tall enough to get out, you know, like, look at this car that they died in. She died in the car with her um, baby sister that was in the front seat. Back seat. Oh, front well, seat. Well, like, she had, like, she has blonde hair, the baby? No, she was a brunette. Well, then I was wrong about that. Then. And I was wrong about the other girl having platinum blonde hair with the ponytail and glasses. So I was wrong about that. And was the car, like, white is gray or whatever? Then I'm wrong. Blue. Then I'm wrong about that. So, I was right about the niece looking like the way she did. That was about it. And what I picked up on is you went to, you had to go to court and you were wearing a suit and tie. And it was like, mm -hmm. it was in like a navy blue tie with a red stripes on it and gold stripes or something. Or not. Was the suit, was the suit like dark grayish and it had white skinny stripes on it? No. Okay, we'll screw it. But either way, it was a soon time. I don't care. <laughs> and then, uh, she's got in trouble, and let me see, um, um, did you have pet rabbits back then? No. Were you a friend with pet rabbits? Around that time? I don't really know. Well, I'm wrong. Around that time, did you go fishing and was on a boat? <laughs> Wasn't on a boat, but I did go fishing. Okay. You hear, you hear, you hear. I guess okay. I was picking up on that. Um. Did you live with your aunt at that time, or somebody with ball cut glasses and her hair was short up to here? And then she kicked you out. <laughs> no, but I was around an aunt uh -huh. at that time when I was fishing. Okay. Did she kick you out? Just for the day? <laughs> I had to go back to the place that I was before I went out to visit them. I don't know. But does she have the bottle cut glasses looking things and her hair is short up to here? My grandma was. Okay, and she's really short? Is she shorter than me? Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> um. What would you do if you saw a spirit come into your room and it had like this square and it looked kind of like grass or something? I mean, it, 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 like like a scene. It was like take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. It's like all desperate, and tweaking, looking. What would you do? Take it, just take it, take. It. You know what I mean? I mean. What would you do? I'd ask him why. 
Yeah, but he's like actually like he's crushing me to do it now or you better do it now. Um I mean I guess I take it. I don't give a fuck. I take it. Okay. If I die, then I die. And then what did you see if there was cords connected to him and connected to demons? Would you still take it? Like change you, you know? Japanese, uh, what stuff. Um, what would I do if there was chains connected to them? Probably wouldn't want to mess with them because I've watched this show called Bleach. Okay. Okay, next, next question. What would you do if an angel, a guy angel with wings, had a ball light and wanted to take it, basically? Around this chick who says, oh, I accept those balls of light all the time. What would you do? I mean, if the dude was an angel and he had a six pack, then yeah, I'd take it. Because you can always trust someone with a six pack. I'll never trust a guy with a six pack. Okay, well, what would you do if um, a demon said, I can make you powerful? What would you say? The power of Christ who kills you to help you do it? Okay. Yeah. Well, I said no to all of them. <laughs> what would you do? If a demon came to me and said, I can make you powerful, I wouldn't well, tell him to get away because the power of Christ is stronger than any demon. That's very good. And what would you do if an angel tried to give you a ball of light? Take it from the angel because an angel. What would you do spirit. if a spirit had a box and it looked kind of like a scene and it, was, it wanted you to take it? The spirit of the angel? No, just a spirit. A spirit? I would have to know what kind of spirit it was. Well, we don't spirits, know. It was just there. Exactly, so that's what you need to learn. Everything you cannot trust, say no to all at all. Because once you, because once, it demons, goes, once it's with you, you're stuck with it. You can't, you can't grab it or get it out of you, and you're st stuck with a curse or I something. Mean, okay, is it going to make me? You don't know. You have to ask okay. that spirit. I don't know. Give me the it could, outcomes. it could be a curse. It could be a curse. It could not. It could, it could be a fallen angel that's disguised as a light. That could be bad too. You can't trust nothing. Just say no to it all. So it's safest. Mm -hmm. And you know, okay. Okay, here's what happened. Stella Moscato. Try it. Here's what happened. What happened with the uh, angel, I, and this chick said oh. she accepts those skips all the time. Oh, and I'm like, well, you accept it. And then, so... But why is? Well, she did, and the ball light went into her mouth and lit up her eyes, and then it lit up uh, around her, her higher self, her spirit self, and it was dressed in uh, jewels and gems and jade. And while she was dressed in dr um, rags and stuff as, you know, a person, like, just PJs, big deal. So, maybe her spirit was dressed in riches, but maybe she's stuck with these people. Maybe she's in prison with these people, but she's still with Jules. Who knows what she's stuck with? Maybe she's in that type of hell, and they're convincing her that's heaven. Who the fuck knows? Or maybe it just is the way on the other side, and that's just how they trade uh, presents with balls of light, and they turn into whatever they're like. Who knows? I don't know. I just did not trust none of it. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to be stuck with it. Well, you heard me say that. It's like, I need to know what kind of spirit yeah. this is. I'm well, not taking anything from spirit. It's not like they It's not like they repeat themselves or anything. Like if the angel's going to say something to you, you just say that, usually. It doesn't repeat itself. You can't act like a little amateur child. Like, what was that again? <laughs> you, you, you say that again? No, you just don't have time. You, you have it now or never. You can't postpone. Have what, you ever seen to... Angels in America? Anyways, I don't know, but Touch by Angels is a good show. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Judy and the beast. Pointing it, here's the tea. Feel the tea. Okay. You are a Scorpio, sun, moon, and Gemini. This means your inner being and your mind and your emotions is the moon. Even if a Scorpio is like an emotional sign, your moon signs in Gemini, which means you have racing thoughts and voices in your head, and sometimes you're like so funny, and then you like snap, and you become a brat, and you you just want to get your way, and you become a schizophrenic person, like, you know, and you just act like you just want to get your way when you turn into this brat, that you would just want to try to control somebody because they don't think the same way you do in some way, mm -hmm. and it becomes very irrational because the Gemini is not an emotional sign, it's an it, when it's emotional, because it's the moon sign, moon is your emotions. When it becomes emotional, it becomes irrational. And then, because it's a mental sign, and then it'll come back to normal when it comes back to its mind, you know, so you deal with your emotions mentally, I guess. And, um, so you might be schizophrenic or be, uh, diagnosed with that. Have you been? Uh, was diagnosed what? Diagnosed as a schizophrenic or something? Mm, no. Nope. Have you, did you have your acted like that? Uh, have you just totally changed into a person that... You wasn't before? Okay, good. 
Okay, your Mercury's in Libra. That's how you think you communicate. That means you have a beautiful voice and you just talk with balance or something. And your Venus is in Libra. That's what you're looking for other people. You're looking for a relationship with other people. You become like this, hey, care for it or something. And <laughs> you want people to meet you halfway, but you you make them just meet you all the way sometimes. Like, <laughs> But you know what I mean? You meet the needs of others in a relationship. You're good at relationships. And your Mars is in Aquarius. This is how you get mad at other people. And it's your willpower that you just want to put all your willpower on staying a friend. And um, if someone does you wrong, you just try to uh, treat them the way they did you, like treat them with their own medicine or something that you had. Is that how it is or what? Plus you're Scorpio, you get revenge. I don't know because you're Scorpio. You're very jealous. Your Jupiter is in Cancer. You're very lucky with family and home. Your dad's a gem. You, you pro your dad probably tells you to shut up a lot of time, a lot of times, and tells you to lie or he's a liar, and he restricts you on your communication, but this can give you a good communication skill, like it can make you be a public speaker and then it take it away from you. Does that make sense? On how to communicate, you'll have restrictions on communication. Like your mom is the same way. She's too face bitch, but she will probably let you stay there forever. Right? Yes. But your dad's also someone who makes you lie, or he lies. Okay. So your Lilith is in Pisces means everyone doesn't see you, be this a compassionate, nice person, but you can become it anyways and forgiving and stuff like that. Gemini is what you came here to gain, and you already learned how to be such cherished and uh, travel and stuff and happy go lucky stuff. Have you traveled and stuff? Mm. Okay, well, who knows? Your Pluto's in such cherished. You like to isolate yourself by going on adventures and stuff. I don't know. The end. That's the story of that. You're actually a Capricorn on the cusp of Sagittarius, and your moon is in Scorpio, and uh, your Mercury is in Sagittarius, so that's how you think you okay. Your Venus is in the Aquarius, so you like to be friends first in the relationship, and um, your Mars is in Libra, so you just complain about what's bothering you about someone, and you don't want to uh, be in confrontation or something like that. And you want to, you don't just have one-night stands, you want to make them think that you are dating them before you have sex or something. And your dear is in Gemini, you're lucky with public speaking and communicating and siblings and neighbors. Okay, your Saturn is in Taurus. This is your life lesson, karma restrictions. And this is how your father was. So your father was either like someone who was poor and had to teach you financial security or you became poor sometimes when you have no possession, you have no food. Or your dad would be full. You'd be like, if you're crying, he'll be like, here's some food, here's some money. And uh, he's like, I'm just taking it away from you because you're just a dick or whatever. And so he's controlling your money. So money is like your whole problem in your life in food. Trying to get food and money and possessions. <laughs> it'll, be ta it'll be given to you and taken away from you because you have to learn an honest living. You have to be, it's trying to make you have be financially secure in a better way than, because like if you're, you know, you can't steal and stuff or it'll, it'll, you'll be paying more than what you take in, you know. That's you're gonna be your karma. Nobody else has to deal with this shit but you, you know what I mean? Because you're sad in the forest. Your Lilith is in Aquarius, which means you have multiple orgasms, though, because you go outside of this coloring box, and that's your sexual arrogance. And it's like, I'm gonna be this way, and no one wants to see you be this way, but you do it anyways. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, the wheel. I mean, this is just half your turn. So oh, everything's public about you. Every, everybody sees it. You barely have anything private. Anything private that you've seen is your um, is your neighbors and your siblings and uh, your luck is uh, and your and your and your financial security is is, is kind of uh, not destined to be like that. It's freedom to create your own. Is how it's gonna be. And um, you're nodding your head. Okay, and then. Uh, but everything else is being seen. You don't really have much of maybe your sex life, maybe your mom is destined on the on the side of destiny or something, which is fate, which is you can't change regardless. Is your mother dead or something? Because your moon is in Scorpio. I hate my mother. Okay, well, so she's intense and stuff like that, and she's like death plugs you with her. Or something like that, because your moon's in Scorpio. And then it makes you a stalker or a good researcher. Thank you, Adam, so kindly. That's happy. Give her a chart. There's your grandma. Huh? I was just on